How do you think that Muslim countries can help in this regard? To begin with, what uh, India has done is uh, simply uh, beyond imagination in the sense that there is a territory uh, that we call uh, as occupied Kashmir on which there's an international organization by the name of UNO uh, that has passed a resolution 70 years ago. And all this why uh, the status of uh, uh, occupied Kashmir uh, according to that resolution, was supposed to be uh, a disputed territory. And all of a sudden, and of course the same has been uh, verified uh, through the Indian uh, constitution by giving it a special status. And all of a sudden, uh, the new government now, uh, the same government of Prime Minister Modi, in his second tenure, he feels uh, so strong uh, and he thinks he's got the majority to change the status of that region unilaterally, which legally he's not permitted to do. So what has happened is something alarming and therefore there is a state of emergency and the same state uh, now prevails even in Pakistan because Pakistan is a party and a signatory uh, to that uh, resolution which was passed by the United Nations. It is in this context that we have asked OIC to gather and immediately take notice of this blatant violation by India. And I think OIC can play its role after all. It is an organization that comprises all the Muslim countries of the world. So therefore, uh, it should play its role and it should discuss uh, this matter of uh, Kashmir and the background I've already given you and if India has carried out this blatant aggression and violation of uh, an international organization, this needs to be immediately brought to the notice of UN. We need to take some strong actions wherever we can. 